I told my boss three companies were after me, so I needed a pay rise. My boss asked what companies. I said gas, water and electric. <laughs> right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Previously, I did do a video of how to link up or pair any gaming controller to your Android device. But previously, my videos, I just seemed to shout and I don't know, it didn't look that good. So I'm doing an updated video on it. So on an Amazon device, such as a Fire Stick, I'm going to show you how you can pair up a PlayStation controller, an Xbox One controller, or even a gaming controller I did get from China. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I were going to spend a long time telling you where you could get games from, how you could play them on your Fire Stick, and I'm not going to bother. I'm going to cut the bullshit and get straight on with it. But for anybody wondering why would you want to pair a gaming controller to your Amazon Fire Stick or Amazon device or Android devices, it's quite obvious it's just for gaming or if you'd rather navigate with a controller instead of the standard remote that your device comes with. Right, so as you can see at the moment, I've got a PlayStation 4 controller if I'm trying to navigate around, you're going to see nothing's happening whatsoever. And I will show you how to pair it through Bluetooth in a moment. But first of all, if you're using a device and it's got a USB port, or you're using an Amazon device and you're using an OTG cable, if you don't know what one of those are, I will link it in the description down below. We're just going to plug in the micro USB cable to the PlayStation controller or any gaming controller. And then if I do make me smaller, you're going to see I can start to navigate using my PlayStation remote. And I've not had to set anything up. I've simply plugged in the micro USB cable to the controller and then I can go down, I can click on a game. This Rally Fury is from Aptoid TV. It does say any Google Play services, but if you click OK, you can still play it fine. I'm just using this game as a way to demonstrate the controller working. So if I click on start, one thing I will say is depending on what app you are using, you may have to map the buttons to what you prefer. But for this one, I'm just going to click R2. You can see we're moving. We can steer. We can do everything it's asking us to do. We can drift. But obviously a lot of people don't want to use a micro USB cable. They want to have it wireless and they want to do it through Bluetooth, which if I do take out the micro USB cable, you're going to see... It's not doing anything. So I'm going to click the home button. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put the gaming controller into pairing mode. And I will show you on the other remote shortly. But first of all, what we want to do is go to settings, down and go across to remote and Bluetooth devices. Don't know what I've just said. And then we're going to go to game controllers. And if you do happen to be using the new Amazon interface, simply go across the settings on the right hand side, go down, and then you're going to see controllers and Bluetooth devices on there. And before we click anything else, we're going to put the controller into pairing mode. So to put the PS4 controller into pairing mode, we're going to long hold the PlayStation button and the share button. And once you've long hold that, you can't see it flashing because of the lights gleaming on me. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and when you do see it blinking, we're going to click on Add New Game Controller. It says Wireless Controller. So I'm going to click on that because I know it's this one. It's the only one I'm trying to pair. And the moment of truth, we're moving around with it. I'm going to click Circle, Circle to go all the way back home. I'm going to go back into the game. Click OK. As you can see, we're using this controller. We're going to start playing again. And now we're doing it wireless through Bluetooth and everything's working exactly as it should. So that's how to link up your PS4 remote. And now we're going to show you how to do it with the Xbox. It's pretty much the same process. But this time on Xbox One controllers, you are going to see at the top, you've got a pairing button. And once I click on that, it's going to start blinking really fast. You can actually see that this time. So that means it's in pairing mode. So once again, we're going to go to settings, down and across to remotes and Bluetooth devices, game controllers, add new controller. It's actually gone out of pairing mode now, so I'm just going to turn it back on. My batteries have run out. <laughs> if you bang them, they sometimes work again. Right, so now we've got some batteries with some juice in. I'm going to turn the Xbox One controller back on. Click the pairing button until it blinks fast once again. And as you see, Xbox wireless controller. I'm going to click on that. Moment of truth once again. You can see I'm clicking up and down. 
I'm gonna click. I'm gonna keep clicking. Keep clicking back until I get home. Go down to the game once again. Click OK. Click. Oops. Turn sensitivity up. Continue. And then once again, as you can see, we're using the Xbox One controller to play the game. And once again, everything's working as it should. So then what if you've got just a normal Bluetooth gaming controller like this one? If I check it, you can hear that. I've had it ages. It's took some right knocks. And it's called a Bluetooth gamepad. And to put this into pairing mode, you click on the home button and the A button. And then it should start blinking really fast once again saying it's in pairing mode. So you should be able to see that this time blinking really fast. Once again, we're going to navigate to settings, remote and Bluetooth devices, game controllers. I'm going to forget this because I'm no longer using it. Add new game controller. It's still blinking really fast, so it's still in pairing mode. Right, so this time it's not actually showing us anything. One thing I am going to try quickly is trying other Bluetooth devices. And if I add that, I'm going to see if it comes up on here. So as you can see, this time Gamepad Plus has actually come up in other Bluetooth devices and not game controllers. So if you do find that your device isn't finding your remote, just try doing it in other Bluetooth devices. So I'm going to click on this, Gamepad Plus, because that's what I'm using. And then now I've got a solid red light, but it no longer comes up inside other Bluetooth devices. If I click on back and go to Game Controllers, you're going to see it's actually coming up in here as Amazon's Fire TV Game Controller. But if I click on back, you can see we can navigate with this one as well. I'm going to go down once again, click on a game, click OK, go down to Continue, and then once again, we're playing game. Where's Games Controller? Although this one doesn't feel as, as smooth as using the PS4 or Xbox One controller, still works fine. Everything works as it should. And yeah, you can essentially use these as a replacement to the Amazon Fire TV remotes. Now, if you do come to a stage where you want to link it back up to your console, so your PS4, you're going to want to connect it via the USB. So plug in the USB to the PS4, then the micro USB into your gaming controller, and that'll pair it back up to your console if it has disconnected and won't connect automatically. So yeah, I know it kind of dragged on a bit that video, but I wanted to try and cover everything because from a previous video, there's been a lot of questions being flagged up lately. So a lot of people are wanting to know how to do this. And as you saw then, it pretty much shows you everything you need to do. And if you do come across any other issues, don't be scared to comment down below and myself or someone else who's watching this video will be able to help you out. Right, I'm going to go now because my lips are dry. I've been talking that long, right? So that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Tara. Oh, it said complete then as soon as I said Tara, look. Can't see it, can you? I'll get out of way. Complete. Tara. <laughs> right, so hello again, everybody. And what? That's ignorant, isn't it? I do apologise. <laughs> Any gaming controller to an Android device or an Amazon device, such as... I don't know what I've just said. <laughs>